So the Israelites continued on their journey to the promised land. God had done wonderful things for them to rescue them from Egypt and had looked after them on the way, like providing water. But now, food was running scarce. Dad, I'm hungry. Me too. But I'm hungrier. Sorry, son. Oh, I do have some Nile pie. Would you like some? Nile pie? Well, it's like Mississippi by pie, but with less chocolate. It's basically mud, isn't it, Dad? Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. It is filling, though, and non-fattening. Can we go back to the shops in Egypt and get some proper food, Dad? <sighs> I'm afraid not, because God is leading us to the land that he promised our forefathers. Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That's only three. What? You said four fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That's only three. I don't mean forefathers. I mean forefathers, as in ancestors. And his sisters? Is that something you're not telling me, Dad? <sighs> Never mind. It's his fault we're hungry. Who? Moses. He's the one who led us here. He's a bit of a CD. A what? A coffin dodger. I heard that, you cheeky rascal. Please forgive, Zack. He gets a bit grumpy when he's hungry and we haven't eaten in ages. But it wasn't just Zack who was grumpy. The whole tribe of Israel was hungry and grumpy. So Moses prayed to God. Dear God, uh, th thanks for the water. Uh, that, that was really good. Um, but we're all a bit hungry now. Could you please help us? Thanks. Then God told Moses how he would feed them. Ah, uh, listen up, everybody. I, I, I've just been talking to God, and, and the Lord says that he's heard your complaints. Uh, but today, you will know that he is the Lord who brought you up out of Egypt. For he will give you meat to eat in the evening, and as much bread as you like in the morning. Isn't that good? Ray! <coughs> He's going to make meat rain down from the sky. It's going to rain down meat? That's what he said. Like raining cats and dogs? Who knows? Blah. I don't like dog meat. We're eating tins. Don't be silly, Zack. Um, uh, just, just one other thing. Um, uh, you must only gather as much as you need for the day. Um, except for the Sabbath, when, when, when you mustn't collect any at all. Understood? Uh, in which case you must collect twice as much as on the day before. Remember, any leftovers will, will rot. Well, uh, so don't stockpile. Okay? So that evening, God sent a flock of quail to feed them. Look, can you see it? A flock of birds is heading straight towards oh, us. Is it chicken nuggets? I love chicken nuggets. Mmm. Zack, it won't be nuggets, will it? Nuggets don't fly. Uh, they do if you throw them far enough. <gasps> Duh! Dear Sonny, I'm naked. I don't think I can fly any further. Come on, Ava. It's only another 600 miles. Sorry, I'm, wow. I'm done in. <sighs> and the flock of quail just dropped out of the sky. Oh, mind your head. Ow! You okay? Mmm, yeah. Oh, isn't it sweet? Can I keep it as a pair? Mm. No, no, he's dinner. In any case, he's dead. Give him here, I'll cook it. Dad! Yes? Have we got any ketchup? <sighs> then in the morning, God provided bread. Manna from heaven. I can't see any bread, Moses. Oi, CD! Oh, it's you again. Oh. You promised bread in the mornings. I did. A and there is. I it's those flakes on the ground. Try one. I can't. Why not? Hmm? Uh, duh, it's been on the ground. Zach, remember the 30 minute rule. Look, I'll try it. Mmm. Delicate sweet honey flavour with perhaps traces of cumin. Nice. What's it called? Hmm? Uh, manna. What's that mean? It means, what's that? What 
what's it? Oh, I love cheese what's it? <sighs> <sighs> well, then start collecting them before they melt in the sun. Nom, 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 nom. nom. It's, be it's better eating them than collecting them. <laughs> uh, 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 and don't forget, only collect enough for today because leftovers will rot. And remember, stay home. Don't save manna. God provides. And so God became their provider. He'd quenched their thirst in the desert, and now he provided home deliveries. <laughs>